off the homestead today. I have a uh, doctor's appointment I need to go to, so I thought I'd just stop and have a chat with y'all. Many things on my mind lately. Uh, just watch the news, and they're talking about a power grid outage. And um, I've been thinking about that a lot lately. So, ha have, have you all thought about what you do if a power outage? We had a power outage, like it just went down, we had nothing. Like, no cell phone, no pump to pump our water, no lights, no stove, no way to cook food, no way to go buy food, because the, um, if the um, stores would be closed, plus you wouldn't be able to get the gasoline. You'd have what you had in your tank, but they were not going to be able to pump gasoline. So, my husband and I, we've been talking about this a lot lately. And we do have a well on the homestead, and so I think we're going to get one. I'm pretty sure we're going to get one of those hand pumps that they used to have way back in the day. And uh, he could modify that if the event that we lost all of the electricity. So, we at least have water. And I can a lot, so I know we have some food that, to make us through. But uh, it's a scary situation. Uh, the whole world right now is, uh, we, we are beat a lot. And we've come back to the homestead because, um, first of all, prices are just ridiculous. You can't be, the, I mean, they're just ridiculous. There is no other word to say for it besides that they're ridiculous. So that was part of the reason. And the other part was the state of the world. We're not sure if, you know, if the power grid goes down, we want to be on the homestead. Uh, if anything like that happens, we want to be there. Um, that's our better chance of survival, being there. So anyway, that was one of the things on the news this morning that uh, has just been on my mind. And I just wondered what everybody else thought about it. If you, I mean, do you have plans? Have you saved water? Um, have you stocked food? I see commercials for um, food in the package where you add water to it. So um, are y'all doing that? I mean, what... What, what are you doing that maybe somebody else could do to maybe help us survive? So, any ideas are gladly, gladly uh, read and welcomed and pondered. Whatever's best for everybody. So, beautiful day in northern Florida. The sun is shining. Woo! Love it. Love it. We were in 22 degrees weather just about mm, two weeks ago. And, uh, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. That, my body was not made for 22 degrees. I like it warm. I don't even mind sweating, but I do not like to be cold. That is, whew, I don't like to be cold. So I'm gonna be off the homestead for a couple hours today while I just go do this and do some errands. And, um, and then I gotta get back and I was talking about planting my carrots. I have not planted my carrots yet. <laughs> I have been procrastinating. So I need to get my tub filled up with the dirt and get my seeds in there and get my carrots planted. Um, and then I have bought a Rose of Sharon. Do any of you have a Rose of Sharon tree? I love them. They are so pretty. And that is one thing my mother-in-law, she um, always had Rose of Sharon. And so anytime I see a Rose of Sharon, I think of her. I uh, loved her, um, great lady. Um, she's sitting with Jesus now, but uh, many memories from her. And so I got a Rosa Sharon uh, bush tree. I think it's a tree. Um, kind of looks bushy, but anyway. Uh, and so I want to get it planted. Yes. And I haven't picked out my spot for that yet because I want it where I can see it. Like when I come out on my deck, I want to be able to see it. But it, it gets about six feet tall and maybe about mm, three feet, four feet wide. And so I need that size of a spot, and I haven't picked it out yet. So I need to get on the stick and get that picked out and uh, get that in the ground. Because it's just a little baby right now. It's just like that big. Um, chicken's doing well this morning. I didn't get to film that either. Um, but I will get a film up of the chickens in the chicken house. And um, We had a rooster that's seven months old. I just got him. And we first got him, he was like, good, 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 good. And uh, within just a week, he is making a very nice crow. Very, very nice uh, rooster crow. So that's real fun. So we're having fun on the homestead. We're just going day by day. Um, we're adding on to it. And so 
in, in the future I'll have that video up showing from the beginning to the end. Um, just all kinds of fun and uh, I'll definitely have more uh, canning videos and um, I'll be bringing you a lot and plus I, I, you know some of these personal videos um, subscribe to the YouTube channel that'd be great that would help me to go on and keep making more videos and, um, and just get to know everybody and let everybody get to know me okay well I'm going to concentrate on not hitting this person in front of me and I'm going to go and I just want to wish everybody a very very happy day Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.